Hi, my name is Mary Smulligan and I'm an iQuilt instructor. I'm here to show you some tips and tricks on how to get your quilt into a home domestic sewing machine. I have a pretty big quilt here. What it is, is it's not necessarily the throat size. Because of long arms, we think, oh, we need a huge throat in here, when we actually don't. This is a pretty big quilt and it's all in here. I can get all of this quilt all in here and I still have room for my hands to move around. So this is, this is a pretty good size throw. We even can go a little bit smaller than this and still have enough room. The actual room that you're going to need to do your quilt is on the left hand side. This is where we're getting our movement to be able to move the quilt around to make designs. If there's not enough room for our hands to move around Around, we can't do designs. If we did not have an extended table or a, a nice cabinet, there's no way that we're going to be able to make designs. So you can do this inexpensively or you can go out and buy a nice cabinet. It's, it's your choice, but you do need the space on the left hand. It is very important. The right hand is, is, is not as much space as you think. And once you start working with bigger quilts, you'll find this out. Yes, it is the left hand. That's where I'm making these designs. Now, I'm normally a right hand person, but when I stopped to try to show people what I was doing, I found out that the left hand is making the designs. So, if you would like some more tips like this, please check out my class on iQuilt.